I was in support of H.R. 26, the Born Alive Abortion Survivors Protection Act. In simple terms, life is precious, life is sacred, all life, and we think including unborn children. But that's not what this legislation about is about. This legislation is about those, in, those, those kids who were born alive, making sure they get protected. For over 40 years, the decision in Roe v. Wade, as Justice Alito has stated, inflamed debate and deepened division over the issue of abortion in this country. We've seen that play out over the last year. But what should be undisputed is the care of a child who is born alive after, after an attempted abortion. Unfortunately, as evidenced by comments from prominent Democrats, not everyone believes that a child born alive should be protected. We all know in 2019, then Governor Northam of the state of Virginia stated this, the infant would be delivered, the infant would be kept comfortable, the infant would be resuscitated if that's what the mother and the family desired, and then a discussion would ensure between the physicians and the mother. I mean, think about that. It's not just anybody saying that's the governor of one of our largest states. The cavalier attitude he displayed towards human life is just wrong. H.R. 26 would require health care practitioners to give the same level of care to a child born alive after an abortion or an attempted abortion as a child at that same gestational age. Work to save the kid's life. Work to help that, in, that, that, that newborn. It would also require the immediate transfer of the surviving infant to a hospital. This legislation requires health care practitioners or other employees to report any violations of this provision to state or federal law enforcement for criminal, uh, criminal prosecution. In addition, H.R. 26 provides the mother of an abortion survivor with a civil right of action against a health care practitioner who fails to provide the required level of care. It is simple. Infants born alive following an abortion are kids. They're children. All newborns deserve the same level of care. In the Declaration of Independence, our founding fathers declared that it was life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness are the unalienable rights bestowed on us by our Creator. <coughs> Congress has a duty to protect these fundamental rights. This should be as e an easy vote, I think, for all members. And I want to thank my colleagues, Representative Ann Wagner and Kat Kamick, for their diligent work on this legislation, and I urge all members to support it. And with that, we reserve our time.